Hey, what's up everybody? Welcome back to Guitar Guts 2. Today I'm going to show you five other types of finishes that I do here at the Guitar Guts shop other than splatter and crackle. This one's for all you splatter and crackle haters out there. Here at the Guitar Guts shop, you guys know I specialize in splatter and crackle and sometimes even splatter crackled guitars, but a lot of people say they get sick of looking at them. I will never get sick of looking at crackle and splatter. They're my favorite finishes. Um, I also love quilted maple tops, burl tops, transparent paint jobs, all that kind of stuff. But today I want to show you these five guitars were sitting right above my workbench right here. And I was looking up and I thought, oh wow, none of these are actually crackle or splatter. I should show you guys these five guitars. So to start out, we have this Squire Katana bass. You could see it's been partially sanded and buffed after being refinished by me. Of course, all these guitars will be featured on an episode of Trash to Thrash at some point. So um, you guys may remember this one from the unboxing of the Katana a few months back. But you can see I started to sand and polish it and level it out and check it out and it's looking really good. So this one's going to be getting a deep, it's Montana paints, uh, black metallic paint. It's got a lot of silver reflectivity in it and it's a really cool paint job. I've never owned a metallic finish, but I really like them. They're super flashy, super eye catching. You could do them in a satin, a matte or a high gloss finish, of course. And this one, it's got the high gloss finish going. So I still need to do some more sanding. You can see it's still pretty ripply up in this area, but there's some spots down here. It's also pretty dusty because it's been sitting or hanging up here for the last week and a half while I've been doing a ton of sanding and other things here in the shop. So finish type one, metallics. Let me know down in the description, what's your favorite type of finish? Even if it is splatter or crackle, let me know. If you even want to rank them, feel free to rank them. Make a little list and tell me which one's your favorite and which ones aren't. The next one is striped guitars. This is how I started learning how to paint guitars, was painting replica Frankenstrats for myself. This one is a lefty. Um, it's a Kramer Beretta uh, 1984 model, and it was sent in by my customer Don. You can see it's ready to be sanded and buffed. It's pretty level as is, but you can see there is some orange peel texture to it, which is completely normal after spraying a bunch of clear coat on it. But different types of pinstripe guitars or taped striped guitars, you get that by using tape, taping it off and painting different colors, pulling the tape, putting more tape on, spraying it again. You know, there's the Alexi Laiho ones, which have like the pinstriping along the edge. There's a lot of different really cool things you can do with pinstriping and with tape. And that's a whole nother type of finish and world you can get into by painting designs and colors, taping it up, spraying more designs, taping it up, spraying more designs. I mean, you can really go deep with layering, especially if you do things like crackle or a burst, then tape it up, spray it another type of paint. You know, you can combine techniques and really make something ultra interesting using tape and pinstripes. It's one of my absolute favorite techniques when painting guitars. All right, finish type number three is a really cool one. Hydro dip, AKA swirling. So this is an Ibanez RG170 that I've been rebuilding. I've actually been working on this one for a long time because this is the guitar I learned how to hydro dip on. I did some samples. Some of you probably saw the videos. They were probably about a year ago. I did those sample videos and yeah, this is the guitar. So it looks really awesome. It has, dark green, light green, and black swirled together. Really cool colors. And we got the matched headstock in there, but swirl dips are another really cool finish. This is the only one I've done and it turned out really awesome. I really like the way it turned out. I'm gonna be doing some more. At some point when I start building more shop guitars to sell, I'll probably throw some swirls up in the mix. And this is another type of finish that combined with like tape striping can be really interesting because you can swirl dip a guitar, tape it up, paint like a crackle over it even. And then your stripes are gonna be swirled with crackle over it. I mean, you could even spray clear over this and crackle over this. And then your, your cracks exposed are gonna be swirled combined with the crackle on top. I mean, that is just unbelievable. Combining these paint job types, like I was saying, is how you get these really unique, crazy paint jobs. But swirl dipping is cool because you can combine different color combinations. You get tons of variability because when you're pouring the paint in the water and you swirl it together, unless you're really good at it, it's pretty hard to replicate the same pattern, but I have seen people who are that good who pretty much can draw pictures and transfer them to their guitars. Finish type number four is abstract designs like this. So it's another tape um, masking situation, stenciling situation, kind of like the, the EVH guitars, but this one, 
Obviously it's a George Lynch type finish and my customer had me change all the colors up and put this cool hookup sticker on it and he's a military, a marine guy. So he had me put some other types of really cool crosshairs down here. It's got his name right here. And this is another thing you can do to make a really cool finish is use stencils to create imagery or to create interesting patterns. So awesome finish. I really like this one. I like the way it's coming out. It needs to be level sanded and polished. You can see it's still got that texture, but it has a ton of clear on it. Nice thick clear coat reflecting beautiful light back off it. It's, this is an awesome guitar. So it's just another way you can create really cool designs is by using stencils. So the patterns you use stencils and tape don't have to just be straight lines and pinstripes. It can be weird shapes. You can mask off different sections, paint them differently. And again, combined with different paint techniques, imagine if these black sections were crackle or something like that, or, or you had splatter in them, but not on anywhere else on the guitar. So that would be really cool to have, have little, little spots of different paint techniques mixed in. All right, now technique number five is the old tried and true burst paint job. You can never go wrong with a burst. It's a classic style going back to like the 1950s, I think. And it's just basically you fade from one color to another. This one's actually got a metallic silver inside with the edges in black. And that's like the more traditional burst, but there are other types of bursts. And again, bursting is one of my favorite techniques to combine with other techniques, you know, as a base for striping or as a, a base for crackle or something like that. This is another one that I did in crackle that's got a, a vertical uh, burst here. So it's purple on top, white on bottom. And it's actually, it is level sanded. So it's got the matte look to it. This is a customer's guitar, but it's eventually gonna get buffed out and have the super high gloss finish on it. So this is just another type of burst. People do random bursts. Like if you look in the background, this Charvel back here, this type of burst is more random. It's got streaks of aqua, purple, and blue going through it, and then black crackle over that. So there's a lot of really cool, interesting ways that you can use bursts in combination with these other techniques. And that's my favorite thing to do, like I was saying, is to combine different techniques together to make real unique paint jobs. Because I feel like anybody can take two colors, you know, black, and throw alien blood splatter on it, or red base with black crackle. But then when you start getting into these weird things, when you when you stripe it up and then add swirl to part of it and crackle to part of it. I mean, then they start becoming real artistic and really interesting, different, unique pieces. And that's some of my favorite stuff to do. Like the first time I ever did crackle and splatter together. Now I've actually done it twice and I think it looks really cool. And there's more I want to do in the future, combining different styles of crackle and splatter together. And I love this stuff. So comment down below. Let me know what was your favorite technique out of these five, or even include splatter and crackle in there. If those are your favorites, I like to know that too. And if I left out one of your favorite techniques or something that you like, you know, some of my favorites are burl top guitars and quilted maple and bursts. People always ask me, when are you going to do some solid color guitars? And I do have some solid gu color guitars in the works right now. I can see three of them I have hanging right here that are going to be solid color guitars. The metallic guitar, I have a couple metallic ones like that. That I would consider that a solid color guitar. But I don't think people come to me for that. I don't think, um, you know, most of the work I do now is for people. And I don't think most people who are looking for that more traditional style paint job come to me. Not only is it that, but also when I do my own builds to sell, I don't really do solid paint jobs on them because they're not really what I play. It's not, you know, I do like them, but I like doing stuff that's over the top and crazier. And everybody who paints guitars starts with solid color paint. So there's a lot of people out there who already do solid painting. The amount of people doing crackle, splatter, bursts, stripe, you know, swirl dips, um, crystallization paint jobs, all these different styles. There's a lot less people who do those types of paint jobs. And that's what attracts me. I like to do stuff that's out on the fringe. That's weird. That's niche. It's my favorite stuff to do. So I wouldn't expect too many solid color paint jobs coming through, but there will be some, and there will be some more basic style guitars but that's not gonna probably make it on Trash to Thrash because we need to keep that show exciting and keep moving upwards, not move more to more traditional styles. I feel like that's not the move for that, that show. I feel like going crazier with builds and getting into custom full builds eventually is where I'd like to move with my guitar building in general. So maybe it wouldn't be Trash to Thrash. Maybe I'm gonna have a whole new series by then, but we'll see because honestly, it's not really on the horizon yet, building full customs. I don't have a CNC machine. 
I don't really have space for a CNC machine. I don't have time to learn how to use one, so it's going to come down the road at some point. What do you guys like? What are some of your favorite different types of paint jobs? Let me know in the comments section. I'll talk to you guys very soon. I hope you enjoyed the video. Rock on, my friends.